שולם וברוכה וכל אחינו בני ישרו ובכל מוקם שהם. היום קוצר במלוכה מריבה, אז we are now in the הסרס ימי תשיבה, and we have to chop a rain. I just want to be moist and we do it, whatever I say, of course, I don't mean בדרך תוכחה, בדרך מסר, I'm not a מסר זוגר. But of course, we're all here together, we must together, and I mean myself, of course, in everything that I'm saying. <coughs> I remind myself only of what I heard years ago, בימי <coughs> חורפי, as they call it, from Agu and Agud, Rav Yosef Chaim, Grimwald, Shlita, has many Shi'idim, and he's world famous for his Shi'idim. And he said over a story from the Guan Hagudl, the Shah of Torah, his name was Rabbi Yermi Yalev, Zaychat Sadiq Tabrucha, the Verbo Eruf. And the story goes that he once visited the, the city of Berlin, and he saw the, the street sweeper, the Goy, the street sweeper that <coughs> was working over there in the street. And <coughs> every single day he would go out and sweep, of course, and do his job. And of course, I cannot imitate the way he says it in, 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 in the Deutsch, in that, in that language and in that, in that accent. But more or less, he asked the street sweeper, Was fehlt uns jeden Tag zu kehren die Gassen? Why is it necessary every single day to, to clean and to sweep the streets? And he says that the, the, the street sweeper answered, Herr Rabiner, auf nichts von dem, wo der Schmutz über den Kopf gegangen If I wouldn't do this every day, then all the dirt and the dust would gather and it would cover even the heads of the people. It would be, it would be unbearable. So he would use this, the verbal roof, he would use this when he would start speaking in this time of the year for Yidin to do Shiva <coughs> before Yom HaKudosh, especially before Shabbat Shiva. He would say, Taka, the Rabbi Shalom gave us this man of Yom Kippur, Yom Achaz Bishuna, and this season every single year. And we have to do it, we have to use it, and we have to, <coughs> we have to take the opportunity of using it. Because if we're not going to use it, and we don't clean ourselves, and we don't cleanse ourselves, and we don't sweep the streets, so to speak, of our own, that we need to take care of our chashboinahs, then the shmutz would be, would be mamish unbearable. So we do that at least, that we should be able to have that opportunity of being cleansed in this man. <coughs> You say on Rebbe Aaron Karliner, Zeichet Tzadik Lebruche, the Heilige Karliner, on his Matzeve, it's bakant, I was never there, but people say, and they saw it themselves, it says, Hichze Bechive, 84,000 nefushas. Pile Plum, even the big movements of, of, of Kiriv Rechoikim, they, they cannot boast of, of such a number, and especially in those days, there's no such a thing of a, a communication and to have anything to do with so many people. But of course, the pshar is from the Kiddusha of the Tzaddik, the Ashpur, that he brought down in the world. That already had the Koyach of Ashpur to spread. And that's what the Koyach of, of his Kiddusha was. And if they wrote it on his Matzaiva, that's not Gizmus. That's 84,000, means 84,000. So they say a story with the Heiliger about in Karlina. He heard about there were certain Jewish uh, soldiers that were taken into the army. Unfortunately, in those times, it was a terrible gzaira. And they were in the army and he had, he wanted to get permission that he should be able to go visit them and give them a little chizik. And the permission he got was for Erev Rishashuna, that he should be able to go visit them, Erev Rishashuna. And he went in there and he saw them, that they were, they, were, they were shining the golden buttons on their uniforms. All of those Jewish soldiers, Yiddish soldiers were sitting and shining their buttons. <coughs> so in Nebuch, he had Rechmunas on them, look at this, it's Erev Rishashuna, and this is what they're busy with. And anyway, anyway, he found out that as soon as he walked in there, the soldiers started coming over to him. They realized that he's a big tzaddik. And all of them started crying. And they told him, you know, <clears throat> you might look at this that we're doing, that it's something, you know, that's, that's not, for, not, not for now, that we should do this. So you, sh you should know that we, we all decided that we cannot do what we're capable really of doing if we would have an opportunity be in a Bismedish and be together with other Eden and Taka would be davening, we'd be learning, we would do mitzvahs in Masim Toivim. So we all figured, what can we do before this man of Kabulis Hamalchis of Rosh Hashunah comes? What could we do? So we all decided the only thing we can do is that we're going to sit down and we're going to shine the buttons on our uniforms and we're going to have in mind that we're doing it Lashem Shemaim. 
We're doing this, L'shem Shemaim, that we should be a COVID, that when we put on those uniforms, unfortunately, that they're going to have to do what they do, and we're going to put those uniforms on, on the Shoshona, it's all L'shem Kvayda Yisburek Shemaim. At Heichen Adwar Megiyim, he was mamish overwhelmed, and he gave them a brucha. But at Heichen Adwar Megiyim, the Koyach of Eid, and the Hergish of Eid, when it comes to these manim, so we already were makabal on ourselves, taka hopefully the malchas of, of, of Shemayim from the Rabbeinu Shalaylam Rosh Hashanah. But of course, that was all just to precede this man taka of doing shiva. An hour before Shabbat Shiva, we have to taka show that whatever we were makabal on ourselves, taka was taka serious, we taka mentor emes. You look into the haftaira taka of this Shabbos, Shabbat Shiva, you see the takuna was that the Nisach has, the Nisach of the Avtaira has, has three Nevi'im. They combine the three Nevi'im, Hashaya and Yoyo and Micho, and they put together this Avtaira. According to many Paskim, where Adam and Hugim was only the Psikim of Hashaya. And why did they err on talk these other Psikim, and especially two other Nevi'im? The Gemurah Taka brings as long as everything is from the same Sefer and all of these Nevi'im are from Trey Usr, so it's not a problem of Medalgin. So they did that. Why? So the Paskim bring down that since Hoshea's Chalik uh, in the Psikim that we mentioned, it ends off, Ki Yishurim Darke Hashem, V'tzadikim Yelchibam, Yipoishim Yikashlibam. So the Yipoishim Yikashlibam is a Duba Ra, it's not a Duba Toiv. So we don't want to be a Messiah with a Duba Ra. Bakant is supposed to begin and end with a Duba Toiv. So that's why the end added on the Psikim of the other Nevi'im. I thought that there's, there's pshutim, I'll be nigle, I'll be nister, and every pusik and every word, I'm not going into that. So that's why they added on these psikim, and they added on first from Yoel, and from the Nuvi Yoel, we end off afterwards, it says, Interessant. And then they added on later the words of Micho, which really is Meramus to the Shlesh Esremidus, as we say, we say every morning. And he ends off, Titin emes liyankev chesed lavrum ashen shbat la b'sayinim yimei kedem. Why do we have to have two other nevi'im and two other uh, additions in order that we should end off with these two psikim al kapuna? So shtaitin the mafarshim tersant and al shach hakudosh. It wouldn't be enough just to end off with michu, because michu is ending off with titin emes liyankev chesed lavrum ashen shbat la b'sayinim. Who says that we have that schiz? We're asking the Rabbi Nishlam we should have the emes of Yankiv and the chesed of Avruam. And Taka Ashtikil Digdig, why Yitzchak is left out, because that's of course Midas Adin, but we're asking the Rabbi Nishlam that he should have Rachmunas on us and the schiz of, of Yankiv and Avruam. So who says we deserve that? Who says Taka that we Taka behave properly and therefore we have the right to ask for such a thing? So that's why they added on also that we should have the seam of Yoel's words, even though it comes out faket, and we had to end off with Michu because of the Shlosh Esremidus, but Safka Saf in Yoel's seam, it says, V'yedatem ki bikeir v'yisrul uni, v'ani Hashem v'lekeichem v'enoid v'yavash yoyim v'lo'elam. And that's Meramez to v'yikeir v'yisrul, ganz klal yisrul. And when it comes to that Indian of the Achtas of klal yisrul, of all the Eden t- together, that l'chayre we definitely have. The achtas and the hava that we can work on in order to improve that, that's not going to give us that possibility that we should be zoicha. On that, there's no sfeikas. On that, we don't have to be worried. We're being messiah taka with a complete, complete dubah toif. But that gives us a way to dikis chavis. Eshtaitan chusid yavitz, in perka uvas, in peire gimel, when it says, shnaim shiyoshim vehim benayim dibra toira, areza moishav leitzim. And right after that, Mamish the Mishnah says, "As shloishes shachli al shulchan echad v'li amri ulav dibre tayre is kili achli mezif chameisim." Frey the chusid yavitz. What happened over here? When it's shnayim, it ends up to be a moish of leitzim. Taka, it's a gefel chazach. Okay, but when you have shloishes shachli al shulchan echad, all of a sudden it's much worse. And kili achli mezif chameisim. That's Mamish of a dezure rachmul l'tzlan. It was only one other person sitting there. When we have Shnaim Shiyashvim, when we have Shloisha Shachli, and there's no Divinatayra, why is that description of the Shloisha much worse and a terrible Aveda that there was no Divinatayra than the Shnaim? So the Chuzid Yavid says, because when three people sit together, that creates a Chabira. You see, Taka, that once you have three people, there's a Chiyav of Zimun. And if there is already a Shem of a Chabira of three people together, 
Then there's a Hizchaivus of those three people that they have a Hizchaivus to be Mekadosh Shem Shemayim. There's a greater Hizchaivus when there's a Chabira and an Ichid of many people. And the Miyat of Chabira is three, as we talk see by Zimun. So therefore then they had a Chiv of an extra Chiv of Kiddush Hashem. And if they didn't do it, that's much worse. Let's talk to Kili Yachim, the Zifchem Meisim. Shnaim, she Yashvi, there's no Chiv yet of a Chabira, so let's talk to Moshe Vleitzim, it's in Ishgit. About Kapunim, Shloisha, Shachli, Vem Benayim, the Vretoyre, the Zifchem Meisim, because you did not use the opportunity of that Chabira that you, that you created. <laughs> As we all know, that gives us a mighty Dikim, Mr. Haskell, first of all, that when we have a Chabira getting together, everyone, Bechom Mukoim, that he, that he becomes part of that Chabira in the Bismed, anywhere where it is. And even together when we have a Mesiba and an Asifa, a Kiddush Hashem has to happen. The Kiddush of the Beis HaKnesses, the Mushal, has to have a Shemitah, and under the Zachen, the Shemitah of Kiddush Beis HaKnesses, because once we're in a place where it's a Chabira and it's a Mukim Kiddush, the Kefal Keflayim, Gagal Gag, the Chiv of that Kiddush Hashem having to happen, and it's a Chiv for every person to be Mishtadl on that. So that we understand, that's going to give us the schiz of being, being able to taina for the Rabbeinu Shalom HaKapunim that we should have. That koyach of an ichet, of the care of Yisroh, of Ali Yidin taket zizamen. I once saw a taka, it's one from the Mrs. Furim. <coughs> he brings down, unfortunately, that there's a, there's a Hisnagdas, the Yitzhahara and the Sutan comes and puts a kiridas, he puts a kaltkite into a person. And immediately he seems to become satisfied. He's satisfied with the way he does things. It's like a mitzvah sanusha melimuda, but uh, don't bother me. Uh, leave me alone. Akapunim. Chachigi Yisru, Kedoshim Hem, but Lamasa, Safkosaf. It's very difficult for a person that he should want to have a person aliyah and to come to a better matzav and a higher madrega. <coughs> This, this man that the Rabbi Shalom gives us, he gives us that man when it's going to be possible, we should be able to be loichem, and the Yitzhar and the Sutan is not going to have any Ashpur. And especially the care of Yisrael, if I don't have the Cheshik, but my Shuchan, my Chavar is going to have the Cheshik. In Ish Esrei Azairi, one person is going to be able to help the other person to be misoirer. If one person sees that another person was makabal on himself, a certain kabula, by davening, by learning, and anything that he was moisiv, they also want to do the same thing. So the Bikad of Yisrael is like a skill for a person to want to do that, that, that extra improvement. Everyone maybe is familiar with that story or <laughs> I talk about my, the Mishpucha of the Heilige Rigzaboysim. Rigzaboysim, he traveled to Bells, to his Rebbe, to the middle of Bells, Zeruf, Reb Shila, and it was Shabbos Hanukkah. When he came there, this part of the story is more familiar for those that are familiar with this, with, 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 with this Gansa history. <clears throat> and he talked when he was there for Shabbos Hanukkah and there was already snow and ice on the ground. And then uh, Friday night, he went out over there to go to the Tish and he slipped. And he dislocated his shoulder. He fell on his shoulder. That he could suppose him, and he dislocated his shoulder. He wasn't able, mamish. He wasn't able to move. Mamish, mamish, with a great effort, he got back into his achsanya, and he just was laying there, and he was not able to come. He didn't come to the tish. And the next morning, he didn't come to davening. And the rebbe sent a shliach to find out what's doing with him. And then they found out Taka, so he sent the shliach back and told him, uh, Taka is nebuch in such a matzav, so, so, but tell him that he should be mishtadl, he should be moist and nefesh to come to Shalashidus. For Shalashidus he should come. Eric Sabayson didn't understand if I'm such a matzav, but of course the Rebbe says, so for Shalashidus Taka, Mamish, it took him a long time, he was able to schlep, and he went to the Bismedish Taka, and he got there for Shalashidus, and he was sitting there in great pain, he was controlling himself. He was able, you know, to be in such a matzah, but he was a mamish in pain. And then when it came for the Rebbe to give him shrayim by shalashidas, he stretched out his hand as if the he didn't give it to him in his hand. He made the Rikasabaisim stretch out his hand as well. That meant also with his, unfortunately, with his dislocated shoulder. And the Rebbe kept on pulling the shrayim back and the Rikasabaisim had to stretch his hand further and further and further. And it seems maybe if you want to say that that put the shoulder back into place. <laughs> and if there he was makabal, that shrayim, it felt better. And as he had already yet a fiyah shalayma. So the chasidim said it was a moifas. Others are going to say different. But that's the story that everyone knows about. But it's the second part of the story. That's not so familiar. 
The second part of the story is that Motsi Shabbos during Shabbos went into the Belzer Rebbe, to the middle roof. And he was saying already goodbye, he was going to get the first train in the morning to go back to Chist. And he went in with a quittle, with a pidyon. And the Rebbe says, and then the Rebbe says, no, who is What do you say? The Rebbe says, ah, it's hard for me to say this, but I have a big kasha. And the kasha was, he asked the Belzer Rebbe, I made such an effort to come here, which was such a Mesidus Nefesh in the winter, that I should come here for Shabbos and to come to a tzaddik. <coughs> Why did that happen to me? He asked him. As many people would ask such questions, unfortunately, in Amatsev, where there's an Nisoyim. Why did this happen to me that I fell down and I dislocated my shoulder? Hi, Tuchin, if I was doing such a righteous thing and my kavuna was the Shem Shemayim, why did this happen to me? So the Heilige Belzeruv, the Bittle Ruf, told him, you should know, there are many people that come here and they come to me and they come for a bruchah and they come for a yeshia, whatever they come for. But they have, talk, uh, let's call it an arterial, arterial motive to come. They have a reason why they're coming. You came completely to Shem Shemayim. You came to Al Tzachusid. And they zachin, of course, the Rigsavoyzen was a Dohoi ben Amensh. You came to not for any special reason. You came to Al Shem Shemayim. I want you to know that when a Yid does anything to Shem Shemayim, he told him, completely to Shem Shemayim, without any Nigiyas, the Sutan is ready to stop him and to be Maineya him and to put blocks, blockades in front of him. The illusion it says over there in the story, the way it's printed, he's, the, the Rebbe told him he's ready to break every bone in his body, Hasbashulim, of the Yid, break his hands and break his, his, his legs, that he shouldn't be able to come to that Tachlis. He shouldn't be able to, uh, to do what he wants to do and accomplish the Lashem Shemayim. That's the Kayach of the Sutan. And that's what he did to you because your Kavun over here was completely Lashem Shemayim. That's the second half of the story, which is not so familiar. We can take out of that story. We see Taka such a such a such a such a such a moiridik shverekait. It's so difficult. We should be able Taka to be masakin ourselves and to to get out of a certain habit and to get out of a certain regila. As I'm talking about, only in the rachni is the kinyunim. Why is it like that? Because when a yi Taka has that kavuna and he comes Taka to that madrega of doing something to the shemayim, the sutin if I like the sutin and the yitzhara comes and he tries every trick in the book that he should stop him from being able to do this. So if we know this from before, it's a gewaldig echizik for us. I know it's not going to be easy. I know that it goes with a roller coaster, it goes up and down, and it's going to be difficult for me to accomplish what I want to accomplish. But it doesn't matter. That's the way it goes. That's talking what the sutan wants to do against you. And once a person knows that it's the Yaisar Hara standing against him, then Taki is going to be misgaber. It's going to give him the koyach Taki to be misgaber. They say over that a young man came to the Satmaruf, the Chetzadik Bruchen, and he told him, it doesn't say that it was Dafke in this time of the year, but it says that he told the Rebbe, listen, I'm trying to do my best to be masakin myself, and I'm trying to be makayim the chatusi neg di sumit, that I should always have my, my chatuim or my faults, I should always have it in front of my eyes, I should remember Taka, what I have to be masakin. But Rebbe, he told Satmaruf, I can't take it. It's something that unfortunately could depress a person, could break a person, the ruach of a person. I can't do this. So the Rebbe, as I stayed the Maisa at Geshmeichel, he smiled and he told this, this Chusid, you know, that it says in the Torah the word Tumit twice. It says by the Manoira, Lahal is near Tumit. And it says by the Lechem Apunam also that the Lechem has to be on the Shulchan, Tumit. And the Gemurah has over there a whole shaila what the word Tumit means. And the Maskuna is that by the Lechem Apunam, Taka Tumit means Mamish every minute. Mashain came by the Manoira, it means Tumit every day. It doesn't mean that the Manoira was burning uh, 24, 24 hours a day. Tumit means once a day. So he told him, Abad, Abad, in this pusik where it says, Chatusi, Chatusi, Negdi Tumit. Tumit over here doesn't mean every minute of every day. Like by the Lechem Apunim. Over here, Tumit, we're going to touch, talk, Lekila, that it should be easier for a person, as Tumit means, once a day, Akapunim. Maybe once a day, talk, it should be possible for a person to have such a Machshubah. Ocha Gita Eitzah. As long as, sometimes, once, <laughs> but a person talk, reminds himself, I have to do a certain things. If he's makabal, let's say, by Shmaneset, that by one brucha, I'm going to be makabal better, and you could pick any brucha, zolzan arafiya, zolzan parnusa, whatever it is. And that's what I'm going to do, especially in this man. Oh, that's my tumit. That's my tumit, talk, when I was makabal on myself, to have that hit achiever at that moment. 
gesehen, er packt die Gewalt von der Arbeit in Jerusalem, von der Sternbuch, Schlitte, wo sie sind nicht stark, sie machen nur im Sand. Und er bringt in die Safer over there, er sagt, dass, of course, wenn der Haluch jetzt brought down, dass der Rabbein Shalom Taki ist dann in der Yemei, 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 not only the Chaim, but the Mesim as well. Everyone knows that we don't say Al Halu, Rashishun Yam Kippur, because it says over there, Eloya Mesim Yahalika, and on Rashun Yam Kippur the Mesim come, the Shumas of the Mesim come and they sit with us together in the Bismadish. Verstaits of these things are Lamala from our Hasuga to understand but as they state, we're Makabu, we believe. But there is a din that goes on for the Mesim as well. So there's many Pshutim, what's the Pshat in that, that there should be a din on the Mesim, the Mesim are not here anymore, and whatever they had to never go through, as far as the Bezim Shalmala they already went through. So if the Ravid, what's the Pshat in the Mesim? So he says, and he says that a person has to make it cheshma nefesh, not only b'chaim chayisay what he does, but his actions that he does or did in this world also affects the later daughters. What did he leave over, and what was the effect of what he left over? And memela on that, even afterwards, it's not that we're going to be done the mason for the things that they're doing now. It's going to be that we're going to be done the mason for those things that they left over and they had hashpur, and for that, that still goes on their cheshbon. So he says, Amoyed the Kazakh in Cain comes out that those deities that are here right now have an opportunity to show that whoever is not here anymore, the deities are Kadmainim, they don't deserve a din and an oinish because we're behaving properly. Amoyed the Kachrayas, for a person to take into his mind, it doesn't only affect me, it also affects all the previous deities as well. Because the din on the Mesim, Taka the Pshar, is that we should take a show that they didn't leave over any adverse effect. Taka, everything that they did, Taka, look. Look at the deiris, look how we are. Could be taka, that's the pshad, the Heilichim Soifa brings, that the Mesim come down and they taka are with us together in the Bismedrish. Could be they're taka coming to help us. They're coming maybe to help us and they're coming to say, Yashikoyach as well. They came in, come, look how you're behaving, you're behaving properly, you're davening so erlich. That's what I want to see because you're doing me a toiva. Now you're doing for me the, the, the one that's in Shamayim, the Tate, the Zayde, saying, Yashra Koyach, that you're behaving this way. Because this way, I'm also not going to have a din. This is Efshid Ibshat. It's a Pachet de It says from the Chubetz Chaim. Chubetz Chaim says, so it says where, where, where it's all brought down, and he brings the Dangar out of the Ravid in his Sefer as well. It's Bakant, and really it's the, the Eidus, the original Eidus from Rebeli Lapian, the Chesadik Bekudish Lebrucha. He said this, that the Heide Chubetz Chaim would be more with 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 tears, and he would tell them that Luusid Luvoy, the Neshuma of the person that he wants, should be intact. That Luusid Luvoy by Tchias Amesim or Luusid Luvoy in Olam Abu again, with all the Cheshbonis over there and Perik Chelik, whatever it means. But Safkal Sav, there is a Pesainian of the Neshuma of a person. So he says, whatever the neshuma is when the person is in this world and whatever he does, that's the way he's going to get that neshuma returned to him. Le'usid lover. And chas v'shulim, if there's a pegam and that, that neshuma has a mim, it's possible for a neshuma to have a mim just like in the gift physically. It's possible berachni is for the neshuma to have a mim as well. And if that's the way it's going to end up, chas v'shulim, that's the neshuma that the person is going to receive later on as well. No, oh, the Heilige Chubetz Chaim, he talked was on that Madrege, and these Pachedik words, Taka Hatzor Chamoyedik, he is uttered. It shouldn't Chulila Bechaz give us a Shvira Salev only in a positive sense. It should only show us how Chushiv we are, and how every action that we do has such an effect. Le Doyre Doyres, Saifa de Meisim, Saifa de Neshuma, the Meile de Achrayes is a great Achrayes, and the Rebbeinu Shem looks to us now to see Taka Bekeir of Yisrael, everyone together Taka to be able to do that Shiva, and we should have Taka that possibility of having such a Tikkun under such circumstances. There's a Moedit de Kamamre from the Closing Bigger Rebbe, the Chesadik of Ruchah. And he says the big test is, and it says, talking the Pusik a couple of weeks ago, and we know that all those Psikim are Maramas to the Mechemes Hayetzer, Yetzer Hara, right? All these Parshas, Parshas Shoftim, Parshas Kisaitse, are all Maramas also to the Mechemes Hayetzer and the Svurim of Pidibre Chazal. So he brings over there that the Yetzer Hara uses Shoichet. How does he give shoichet? Besides that he uses shoichet with the Olam Hazadik things, with the Tabas Olam Hazadik, but he uses shoichet with mitzvahs as well. That if a person is ready to do a mitzvah gedoyla, the Yitzhahara makes up as some type of circumstance and some type of logistics that it should end up only to be that the person does a mitzvah ketana. 
He switches that the person shouldn't end up to accomplish the mitzvah gedoyle, and he should be happy. Okay, at least I ended up with a mitzvah ketana. And he could do it in such a way, the Yitzhah Haru was such a trick, that the person is convinced that he did what he was supposed to do from the beginning, and really it's not true. That's the shoichet. The Yitzhah Haru comes and gives shoichet, you know what, do the mitzvah ketana, and forget about the mitzvah gedoyle. The Kosme Gareb said, what's the raya if a person does something and he, talk, was, he accomplished what he had to do and it's a tachlis, a mishamayim, then he, talk, he did what he had to do. So he says, because mitzvah gerer is mitzvah. If a person talk, sees that one mitzvah brought another mitzvah, that means that the first mitzvah was done properly. If one mitzvah doesn't bring on another mitzvah, then that's a pesaraya that that mitzvah wasn't 100%. In Rabbi Sayyid Ben Mechilis Kavaitchem, Akapunem, Chulila again, I don't mean anybody, I mean myself. He gives a moiri dike mushul, kedarkoi, the sharf mushul. Chosen Begir Rebbe says, person goes to daven in the morning and he does everything that he has to do, the talus, it fill in, and he davened, and I'm assuming that he davened to Elech, because he was a daft tzazan, right, let's say. And then he comes home and he eats his breakfast, but the breakfast step is the bruches, the bruchreshoyne, bruchachreyne, whatever he had to do, and also to eat like a yid. Mazol essen er lechakapunem. Shait van Sadikim, that in the Welt, where everyone is used to saying, you should have, you should eat with a good appetite, mitagitna uh, petit, and you should daven er lech. And it could be that it should be fakert, really, that you should take a daven with an appetite, and you should eat er lech akapunem. That's the way it should be. Well, Chen Tzadikim used to say such a melitza. But he says, the close of Rebbe, if a person after davening in the morning and doing the mitzvahs, he doesn't end up to eat like an Erl Chayid, and he doesn't do what he has to do by his breakfast, uh, that's already a raya, that's not mitzvah, gerer is mitzvah. If he take a daven the Erlech, and he take it, what he had to do, that gives us a koi vidrash, and he gives an Erlech guy that when he comes take it to eat, about his own essence was medaf to essence, nobody's trying to take away from someone's beautiful breakfast. About Kapuna, but it should still be in such a massive. So it's on Elech, mit a Kavuna, but in Zin, the Bruche, Sayer Shoyne, Sayer Chreine, and the ganze Oifen, Vind Achille. Look, that's the Raya. That's going to be a Raya, Taka, the Mitzvah Taka that I wanted to accomplish. Should Taka be on the Richtige Madreige, Taka has to be Taka on that Oifen. And everyone has the Koyach to be able to accomplish this. And Shdubu said, just Agav and that shtikl that the Kolosim Begarebbe is talking about, I heard it on a, years ago on a, on, a, on a disc, on a tape, those old tapes that they used to have on his Chimish Rosh Hashidim. Then I saw it later, they printed it in the Seifer, Shefer Chaim. But in that, in that shmuz, the Kolosim Begarebbe says, He says, first of all, it goes with a story. Everything goes with a story, especially with him. He says he went into an Oisher, he wanted to get in a Duva, for, for, for the hospital over there in Natanya. So he went into him, and the Oishar said, okay, Rebbe, I'm going to try my best. Yeah, I'm going to try my best to try to do whatever I want. Agav, there's such a story with Rebbe Ber that he came to America in order to collect for the yeshiva before the war, Kiyadiyah. And, 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 and when he came back home, the, 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 the Talmidim or the children asked him if the, if the Tata learned a little English, if he knows now how to speak a few words of English. So he says, yeah, I learned two words. It was the two words. So he said, I, when he used to go into these Gevidim. I learned the two words, I'll try. So they asked him, so what, and what do those two words in English mean? That's what he told them. Anyway, but here the close Mega Rebbe went into the Gevir and Taka asked him, so he said, I'll try my best. So the Rebbe told him, oh, if you're saying that you're going to try your best, I know that I'm in a, I'm, I'm in, I'm in a good standing. And I'll tell you why. Because the Koyach of the Yid, when he wants to try, and even if he thinks that it's impossible, I know for a fact, personal experience, that once he puts his mind to it and he has to do it, he's able to do it no matter what. So he told him the story that when he was Nebuch in the labor camps, and they made him work, and especially he describes this mamish in all the details, where he was, Nebuch, Nebuch, Hazav Yalandere, Tozen to Tozen to Eden, Karbunas, and they made him schlep those, those bricks and those cinder blocks from one place to the other. And, and, and he said, you know, b- before that, I was such a shvacha person. Even when I used to want to carry my cipher from the table to the chair and put it back into the bookcase, Mamish didn't even have any koyach to do that. And all of a sudden over here, I'm schlepping these bricks and cinder blocks and I'm able to do it. Now, was it shot? If I had to do it, the koyches apnimium that there is in a yid it has no bounds. There's no such a thing. So he told this Oisher and he warned him. So he said, listen, if you're telling me you're going to try your best, that means that you're going to come through, but with flying colors. I know that's the koyach apnimi of a yid that you're going to be able to do it. 
It like ends up that shtickle giving chizik for every person that knows he has to have a tikkun and he has to do something at Chivatin and there's man taka and rochni is especially that he says taka and he takes on his shoulders and he's and, he, and he's mechayev himself. I'm going to try rabbi nishloel and fashtaytzich from that. There's also a siyata deshmaya and ashpuel that comes from the rabbi nishloel. Ainle do besav no such a thing that it shouldn't be able to happen. I said over the story many times. My zayde zechon the bruchah the chistaruf. So he wrote a kintaris of what he went through in that in the war and the concentration camps. And he brings down the Gemurah in Soita, at the end of the Mesechta. And the Gemurah gives Nabuch all the details of the Kharb Mabayas, Mabayas Rishon, Mabayas Shaini. So, what keeps the world going? And it means the world, our world, the world of the Eden, the world of the Rachnias. Akedisha, the Sadira, Shtayt. It's through the 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 the, the kudosh 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 and the kedusha of burich kavod Hashem em koymoi that we say vulitzian that we say after davening. And Rashi explains over there over there you have the lushin kodesh and the targum. So it's like limida toyre that little bit of limida toyre that even if hameratzim or or yidin that don't have an opportunity to learn, but that little bit of learning keeps the keeps the world going. And it says and also of yeshmei rabba the agadata. So uh, Mazayde brings down that every day they used to come back from work and there was this achzuri is the pachet the mamish the ritzichef and the irishuim what they used to do with the Eden they made them stand uh, so, uh, up upright as so, uh, after they were not so tired so uh, before they went out to work and say so, uh, after they came back they made them stand as uh, straight outside in the cold and the heat it was called an appel in the gesholt and illusion it was called an appel. And that's what used to sit for hours, stand for hours on end. And anyone that Nabuch fell down was Nabuch taken away. And my Zayda writes, and I knew that that's the only opportunity that I was able to learn with the Shechainim that were standing next to me. We learned Mishnah is Balpeh. Those Mishnahis that I was able to remember, we learned Mishnah is Balpeh. And he says over there, and then later on I met those Eden Taka that they, this, they, they survived. And they thanked me for that. Because that's mamish what Chazal meant. Well, my kai ma'alma. From that little bit of learning. Mamish, literally speaking. That's what kept Taked Yidin going. And my Mele Bazo, you see the koiches of Yid. Even in such a matzav. And that's what you want. You should have a life. As we know, the Kadmonim bring. Chaim doesn't mean really Gashmias. Although we have in mind everything that we have to have in mind about the toibs, his git, we should take, have those things in mind, but a person also has to realize that the real zachreini l'chaim, because v'eni b'sefer chaim, is l'man chuelikim chaim. This is all for him, for the rabbi nishlam, we should have take a chaim, shal rochniz. That's the koyach of a yid, that he should be able to have such a matzav. There was a yid, it was called Agu and Atzadik, Rabbi Tzchak Shleim Ungar, Zeich Atzadik Baruch, he was the roof in Chuk Chassam Soifer in Eitz Yisrael, I think it was the first roof in that, in that Moiridik, um, Heilige Platz, the Nidei Shechina, Agapuna. And he has also a, a, a place where he writes about his experiences during the war. I don't know, for Hungarian Yidin, for the English Yidin, there was something even before Nabuch, they were, <coughs> they were gathered together and Nabuch and taken away to the, to the death camps. There was something that was called the Munkatabe. Munkatabe was from the Hungarian Rishuim, and they would gather together the Yiddish men and send them off over there also to labor camps. Some of them came back, some of them didn't come back. At least this much, it wasn't officially a death camp. But they used to go with them. And Itaka was taken on one of these uh, trains and as they stopped at a certain place with the other prisoners over there, Mamish Agansa, Agansa train or a, or a car a tra- that was full of, a, a train car that was full of Yidin. Nebuch. And they had all these Nebuch, they had prisoner clothes also the way they were, and it was Erev Yom HaKudosh. It was Erev Yom Kippur. It was Erev Yom HaKudosh. And they stopped at a certain place and they opened the doors that they should have a little, they should have a little air. So it wasn't like Nabuch, the cattle cars where they took the Eden Nabuch to their last, to their last moments. But Kapunim, they opened the doors because they were going to work somewhere. And they stopped. Now when they opened the doors, they saw outside over there, right, there was a gathering of water. For some reason, maybe there was a big storm before that. It was a huge, humongous puddle. It was man-made, whatever, whatever. It was a big puddle. And it was Erev Yom Kippur. And he says, it was a nest. One of the prisoners jumped out of the cattle car. 
and whatever he had, he was dressed with something, but he took off as his outer clothing. He didn't undress completely. And he jumped into that water. He should have a tvila for Erev Yom Kippur. He should be able to be toivel himself. And all the other prisoners looked that Khalil Bechaz Nabakh Dizid is not coming back. He's not going to come back here alive. And for some reason, he brings, and, and those soldiers, they were laughing, whatever. And when they saw that nothing happened to that Yid, all of the Yid, with their uniforms, Nabuch, they ran into this big gathering of water that they should be betoivel, the Erevim Kippur. They should be Mekayim, that feel of Erevim Kippur. And then they went back into the car, whatever, Nabuch, they'd continue to go to wherever they went. Obviously, you see, they, some of them survived, or many of them survived. In such a massive to be Moise Nefesh with the Rabbi Shloilem, even for something that Mamish, so it's Mamish Mavul Al Arayan, Samanish can can Shaykhis the Zachan, Akapuna. But Lamasa, you see that it's it's Shaykh for a Yid to have that. That's how we have to talk be, we have to be Mo'ayre, that we should talk have that, that, that confidence that since we have the Koychis to be able to do this, that we should at Nzgeben talk to this Yad Dishmaya, and we should talk be able to do that. I said over a couple of weeks ago, Shabbos, and I'll, I'm, I'm already going to be Messiah. There was a famous Talmud of the Balatanya. His name was Rebshmiel Minkas. Minkas. And there was a story with him. He was Isaac in Pidyan Shviyam. That was his Iker Mitzvah. And he used to travel around to collect money. He should be able to give Shaykh to, to give those Yidin, to free those Yidin that were never thrown into dungeons and thrown into jail. And he had a case that came to him, Amish, the night before Erev Yom Kippur. So he knew that he has to go the next day, he has to go collect money. He went around the Erev Yom Kippur. He tried to, to collect money, he wasn't too successful, whatever, people were busy. So then he came on the way back, you know, what am I going to do? How am I going to be able to get money to free this Yid? So he went into a, uh, they used to call it a Kretschma, he went into such a bar. Unfortunately, there were, unfortunately, there were fry Yidin there, and there were big Ashirim. And he saw them drinking over there, Nabuch, Erev Yom Kippur, Azam Matzev, there was such Yidin. But he went over and he challenged them, you want to do a mitzvah? Maybe Taka, you want to have a Pesachtikul Hira, Chiva? And they were laughing at him. And they told him, only one way we're going to give you the money. You see over there on the, on the table, there's a bunch of bottles of, we used to call it Zex and Anzige, real strong whiskey, Azai. If you can drink more than us, and you're going to win the contest, then we're going to give you the money. So they started, he was masculine. He started drinking, and he Taka drank more than them. But of course, <laughs> he was mamish in a matzav. But he was still able, Akapunim, they gave him the money. But Akapunim, they gave him the money. And he took the money, he was mamish rolling on the floor. He wasn't even able to walk straight. And he went, first of all, to free that Yid. And was Erebim Kippur, and was ready mamish late. So then he went, and he wasn't able to eat anyway. He rolled straight into the Bismedrish, took off his shoes. And he went right away, and he fell asleep. He fell asleep in the Bismedrish. And later on, when the Balatanya came to the Kol Nidra, so it was a little bit of a rash, so then he woke up, and he saw what's going on, but he was still in Gansin Azoi, and Nishbaziyach, his head was spinning, and he ran over to the Umid, and he started saying, as if it's Mamr Shmini Atzeres, right? He started saying, he was shikir, and they wanted to throw him out, they wanted to grab him and throw him out. And so the Balatanya said, no, 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 leave him. Why? Because since he was mevatel himself so much to do for another Yid, such a moirit de with such a mesidus nefesh, look at him. So you know what? The Rabbi Yisraelim considers it as if he already went through all of the yumim neruim and all the heilige tag and a halchen bashmini atzeres. In Shemayim, as far as he's concerned, he's already bashmini atzeres. He could stand already by the umad and say, Atu Zaladas. That's what the Mr. Haskell you do for another person, the chesed the person does, the bitla yesh, I'm nothing, my chaver is the one that I have to worry about, have to help him out, that type of feeling, that's taka what a person works on, those are the primias for Naid. And then the Rabbi Yisraelim looks, looks at nothing else, just on the toiv and the rachmem of the person. If you could be misakin these things by eigene kabulas, dvurim ketanim, and also a hava v'achve v'rayas for amdere yidin. That's what gives a person the possibility, is alzantak is simche v'yidin. So the Ebesh to help him, as we know, and for the story, and then we'll finish with this, the Rabbi Yeruchim, Zaychet Sadek there's a story up in the Midi Yeshiva that, the, that there was a blackout. Whatever the electricity over there was, they had already, but it was a blackout. And since it became dark, so <laughs> the, the Bukharim didn't learn. The Bukharim al Kapunim, they stopped learning the Seder or whatever it was. <laughs> so uh, they, they went on, they went out, they closed the Gemuras and they went out. 
So the Biruchim next day gave them a shine of Shmiz. And the Biruchim told them, Al Kapunim, Ashrei, it says in the Puz, it says in the Chazal, Ashrei, Mi Shabu Lekan, Betalmidai, Beyudai. So he told the Biruchim, told the Bukhrim, Ashrei, Mi Shabu Lekan, Betalmidai, Beyudai, means that upstairs in the Mesifta de Rikia, upstairs in Shemayim, and everyone, as we're going to reach that point, Lachamei Vesim Shuna, there's no Sfurim. There's no bookcases of Sfurim, and we're going to learn over there <laughs> with Sfurim. Upstairs, we're going to learn that's Balpeh. Especially Torah Shabbat, we're going to learn upstairs but without Svurim. So he is the Bukharim, I don't understand. Because there was a blackout, you had to close the Gemara and you had to, you had to go home. Why don't you have something that you're able to learn Balpeh? You should get used to it. Because Achamu, Ashray Mi Shabu Lekam, it told me the Beyuda, gave them a way to the Kemisa. And then I found that this you saw this brought down by others as well, Grace at Siddiquim. The Mr. Haskell, at least for us, is, and, and we could just apply it, and I'm just, Mamish, no, Madame Milsa, and Milsa could be, the Rem is also an Azman of Chashchiz, an Azman Nabuch, Nabuch, when there's a blackout, and there's grace in this Yoinus, by Yiddish Kinder. So then the Eitz is that we're going to learn Balpeh. We remember what we have to do. We have our Messire, we have our Menhugim, we're going to keep to it, to our Kitsu Shalyid, and everything that we're going to keep to, that's going to be considered in Shemayim Taket, that we're learning Mamish, Torah Shabbat, that's going to be the Kiyam of Klal Yisroh. For the Ebesh to help in our Chiva Taket should be in this Kabul, Berachman Berutzen, and the Bajan should finally have Rachmunas on us, and it just takes Mamish that one second of Rachman, Kiviyuchel, Kiviyuchel, and the Ebesh Shikim, the Mashiach Tzedkaini, but Zoychazan Taket, the Gil, Good.